Hey you guys, welcome to our Friday workout, the last workout of week eight together, meaning this is our 24th workout of this 12 week Stronger Together series. Super excited about that. Um, today is gonna be a lot of fun. On Fridays, I like to bring in that element of the yoga stretch, kind of lengthening what I consider like the cool down part of the workout um, to make it a little bit more balanced and to kind of recover from everything that's happened in the week so far. So to do that in today's workout, I've broken up this workout into five different segments, I would say. We of course have that warm up. Then we're gonna go into a cardio burst. It's gonna be five exercises that we're going to do 30 seconds each with a 15 second break in between and then repeat that. And that is the one and only round of work in this workout that you will need a weight for and it's only one. So you only need one dumbbell in today's workout. After that cardio, we're gonna go into a strength and stability focused effort. It's gonna be lower body and core on that stability um, aspect of the work. And we've got some exercises just straight through all left leg focused, left side lower body focus and core, then right side lower body and core. From there, we're gonna go into just core, planks, crunches, you know the drill on that. And then we go into our yoga, flow, extended cool down. So that is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, looking over my notes. All right, you guys, so it's gonna be a good one today. I'm excited to do this one with you. Let's go ahead and get started in that warm up. I'm gonna turn on my timer here and we are gonna get going. Let's take it first to that side lunge reach over. Just as we did that warm up together on Wednesday, I'm gonna go to my left with that reach over and that side lunge. Let's go in three, two, and one right here, side lunge reach. Let's do three more to this side. Now two, one more to this side, then all we're gonna do is take it to the other side. Three more to this side, up and over, reach, chest stays open, two, and one. From here, we're gonna bring those feet together and we've got those tap backs. Arms reach up as we alternate that step back for eight, seven, six, in five. We're gonna take it to that plank roll down. Three, two, and one. Stepping back to the back of your mat. Get ready to roll down and walk it out to plank. Holding here for 10, nine. We're gonna take it to that spider step with the reach. In five, four, three, two and one. One foot steps wide. We open up to that side, bring it down, that foot steps back, other foot steps wide, and we open to that side. Open, down and back, step wide, open, down and back. Good, let's go two more, one each way. Open that chest, reach, other one, last one. Open that chest, reach, and down. Drop those knees. Now from here, we're gonna walk in with those hands, lift up with the core, left foot forward, right knee stays down. From here, we're gonna go into that lunge with the forward reach, nice and slow. Two more here. Whoo! And two, bring it back into neutral, take that left knee down, right foot up, and right into that other side. Four more right here. Three, two, last one here. Reach out, back into neutral, back down to kneeling. Hands down, tuck those toes, and we lift to our down dog. From this down dog, give yourself that pedal side to side. One heel up, one heel down for eight. In five, four, we're gonna lock those hands in. Three, two, one, lock those hands in. Make sure you have enough room here. We've got that alternating squat to lunge. It's one squat, step back, lunge. Keep this one slow. No reason to speed through this. Kind of make sure you're set and ready as we shift that balance from side to center, side to center. We've got just 10 seconds remaining here and warm up is done. In five, four, three, two, 
One, yes, warm up done, you guys. Okay, going into that first cardio effort just to knock it out. We have five moves. It's 30 seconds on, 15 off. For these first, I'm gonna go side to side this way. It's gonna start with, well, you will need one weight for this entire um, cardio burst, okay? It's gonna start with a double shuffle with that low to high reach. So imagine I've got that dumbbell, I'm holding it with both hands. I'm gonna come low over my left foot. I'm gonna take two shuffles to the right and I'm gonna reach up over my right shoulder. So full range of motion, reach, down reach over that toe, okay? That's move number one. We start in eight. Grab that weight, here we go. Down to that low left side in four, three, two, one. Low to the left, shuffle, shuffle, reach to the right. When you shuffle, turn that hip, I'm sorry, when you reach, Turn the hip and point that back left toe. We've got a little more than 15 seconds right here. Then we take a 15 second break. Here's 12. 15 second break coming up. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds. Your next move is a step out squat with that hammer curl. So you're gonna step out squat, up and in, out squat, up and in. Here we go, five, four, 30 seconds, three, two, one. Squat, curl it in. 30 seconds, that's it. Right here, y'all, 15 to go, that's it. Move number three is gonna be that low to high shuffle again, but we're gonna go down right, up left. We've got seven. We take that 15 second break in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, yeah, set up that low to high shuffle. I'm gonna start over and down to my right side, reaching up to the left. We go in six, five, down right, up left, shuffle, three, two, one. Reach low right, two shuffles, high to the left. Low to the right, high to the left. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Fifteen second break right, coming up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Fifteen seconds. Next move is a weighted jog. Keeping that dumbbell, holding it right at the chest. We jog it out in eight. Here we go. Weighted jog in five, four, three, two. One, right here, jog it up. Now, if you would like to, the option to add on that chest press, straight out, straight in. Get those heels up, 15. We've got 10, reach, pull, reach, pull, final five, four, three, two, one, yes. Last one in the round. Weight at the chest, squat to butt kick. You're gonna squat down, butt kick, butt kick. Here we go, weight stays at the chest. Four, three, two, one. Squat, kick back. Squat, kick back. Now, from this cardio effort, we take that 15 second break and we do all these moves one more time. Same 15 second break we've had between all the others. We take it in 10, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 15 seconds. All right, low to high, low left, high right. We shuffle in five, four, three, two, one, low left, two shuffles, reach to the right, low to the left, two shuffles, reach to the right. Hey Connor, I'm filming workout right now, what's up? Up and over, 15. Ten seconds. Come on y'all, come on, we got this, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, 
One, 15. Squat, sit down with that curl. Here we go. In eight, doesn't matter which way you step out first, step out, squat to curl. In four, three, two, one. Out and down, up and in. So I started thinking that I was gonna film this outside today. I was like, oh, I need to get outside. I'm not gonna set up outside. You guys, I stepped out the back door and I was like hitting a wall of water. It is so humid today. I was like, nope, that ain't happening. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch that outdoor workout tomorrow with a live boot camp, in-person boot camp. Five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, down, right, up, left. Here we go, y'all, so close. So close. Down to the right, shuffle. Up to the left. In five, four, three, here we go, two, one. Down, right, shuffle, reach. Shuffle, reach. Fifteen more seconds. What is coming up, y'all? We get that 15 second break, we take it to that weighted jog. We have eight, five, four, three, two, one. Weighted jog. In 10, weight at the chest, heels up, knees down. We've got six, five, four, jog it out, three, two, one. Here we go, right here. If and when you're ready, if you'd like to, out, in, out, in. 20 more seconds. Fifteen. Twelve. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Breathe. Fifteen. Squat butt kicks, and that is it. Weight the chest. Wide squat stance. Picking that heel up and kicking to the booty each time. Five, four, three, two, one. This is it for cardio, y'all. This is it. Down and up. Quick, quick, quick. Kick that heel up. Shift your weight over. Kick. Right back down. 15 seconds and cardio is done. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop that dumbbell. Move it completely out of your way. We do not need it again. Give yourself a breather. Woo! I feel like it's almost as humid in here as it is outside. Holy moly. All right, here's what's next. We have strength and stability. Lower body strength, core stability. If you are at home or in a space that allows, if you would like to, you can be next to a wall or grab a chair because there is a lot of balance happening in this particular round. You can be standing next to a wall or use the back of your chair, the back of the sofa, whatever you got. Here's what it looks like. Hands behind the head, the left foot is down, and we're starting with that right knee up. Go ahead and join me in this position. We're gonna take it to that balancing hinge with the kickback of that right leg. In three, two, one. Right leg kicks back and then we pull it in and lift. Now you can keep the hands behind the head, keep the elbows wide, or if you would like to, you can extend those arms up, reaching those fingertips overhead, and then reaching those fingertips out in front of you. You're here for just another 15 seconds. We're gonna meet back in that hold in 10. We've got eight. In five, take that right knee up, hold three, two, and one, hold it. Now that right knee, give me pulses, up and down for 10, nine, eight, still standing, still breathing, chest lifted, chin up, you got five, you got four. In three, two, and
and one. Good. Now hands are going to come to the hips. You've still got that right leg lifted. It should be at a 90 degree angle. You're going to take that right leg open and bring it down, back down. Think about those clamshells here. You're using that right outer thigh. That hip is opening and dropping back down. Holding that balance, holding that stability, feeling it through that left leg. We've got eight. We hold it up in six. That clamshell, hold it open. Four. Try to keep those hips squared, facing forward, not turned out. Three. Hold it up. Two. And one. Hold it. Hold it. Now tiny pulses. Yes. Feeling it. I know. I know. We're going to step that right foot straight back and into those split squats in five, four, three, two, one. Right foot back. And from here, down and up. Down and up. Stay with this here, pressing into that left heel. Right knee drops, left heel drives. Whoo! You guys, stay with it, stay with it. We have 25 seconds remaining in the split squat. Tap the knee or just bring that knee to a hovering position. We have 15 seconds left. We're going to hold this one low. Holding it low in that split squat stance in 10, 8, 7, 6. Dropping that right knee down. Hold it low in 3, 2, 1. Take a little hold. Hands to the chest if you can or reaching straight up. We have 8, 7. I want you to push up. Press through that left heel up to standing in 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ah, shake it out, shake it out. All right. Same thing we just did, but on that right side. Right heel presses down. Left knee starts with the lift. Hands can be at the hips, at the chest, behind the head, or reaching up. We go in three, two, one. Kick it back. Exactly what we just did. Lift the chest. Fingertips reach up. Left knee pulls. Ooh, you guys. No weights needed on this burn. We got it up. And back. We did some balance work on Wednesday also. I want you to remember that every time you are working balance and strength, you've got that core activated. So yes, we get in more core in a little bit with crunches and planks and all that good stuff, but this is working those abs too. We hold that left knee up in five, four, hold it up, three, two, one, left knee lifted, hold. Pulse it right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, left knee, don't drop that foot, bring it down, 2, and 1, bring it down, don't drop the foot, hands to the hips, open up, clamshell, bring it together, open up, clamshell, bring it together, Woo! we hold that clamshell open in 10, 8, in five, hold that clamshell open. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it open, hold it open. Now pulse it for eight, seven, six, five. Left foot steps back. We are straight into those split squats. In three, two, one. Left foot steps back. Here we go. Ooh, balance. Down and up. Down and up. So good, you guys. We're there. We're there. We got core coming up next so that lower body gets a little break. Down, up. Press through that front right heel. Keep the chest lifted. Drop the left knee. Drive it up. In 15 seconds, we're going to hold low. Get ready for that hold. We got 10. We got 5, 4, Three, take it down, two, and one, hold it, chest up, breathe, hands up if you can, hands here if you can, whatever you got, think of that left knee a little bit lower, eight, seven, six, pressing through that front right heel, up to standing, in four, three, two, and one, drag it up, shake it up, oh, you guys ready for some core, I am, let's take some pressure on those legs for a little bit, all right, y'all, we have several moves we're going to do here in core, Starting with a forearm plank, okay? We're gonna take, I'm gonna move my camera angle just a bit. Hopefully the camera does not fall. Okay, there we go, there we go. We're gonna start with a forearm plank on the elbows, on the toes. 
in five. Let's do it. Let's just get right through it. Three, two, one. Elbows and toes hold. All right, just holding, just breathing. We're gonna take this up to those dolphins. You're gonna lift the hips and then straight back down to plank. In five, dolphins in three, two, one. Lift and lower. There's nothing fast about these. When you lift up into that pike position, I want you to think about that same stretch you get in the shoulders when you take this to a down dog. So think about pressing the shoulders and the elbows down into the mat as you lift those hips. We've got 10. We come back down flat to that plank in five, four, lower down flat in three, two, one, flat down to plank. Now from here, we're gonna open up forearm side plank, side to side. If at any time you need to here, you can come down to those knees. I want you to think about taking those heels up and over. From center, directly over your toes to out to the side. Open right here, we've got 10, nine, eight. You're gonna come to your back. We have standard crunches in four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, heels stay down, elbows wide, hands behind the head, and you're in those crunches right here, up and down. Breathe through this slow and steady. Eight seconds, we're gonna lift those knees into tabletop crunches in five, four. Knees come up, tabletop in two, and one right here to tabletop. Just about 10 seconds remaining here, and one leg is going to extend out. A single leg extension, doesn't matter which one. Five, four, three, two, one. Send it out, crunch, down, crunch, down, good, 10 seconds, all we do is switch. Now, if extending that leg out is making your back try to gap, bring it back in. We got four, switch in three, two, one, other leg extends. We've got eight, bicycle pedal crunches on deck, five, four, three, two, one, bicycle, knee to elbow, Knee to elbow across the body right here. Keep going. What we have on deck is called an oblique crunch. For me, I'm gonna take my knees and hips over to the right side, and I'm gonna crunch up and over my left rib cage. That's coming up in seven. Knees and hips shift to the right. Chest stays open to the ceiling. In three, two, one, take it over. Tilt the lower body, crunch straight up over that left side. If you're taking your knees and hips the other way, no big deal. We'll switch here in just a bit. Crunch it up, squeeze, lifting, crunch, extend. We're gonna take that oblique crunch to the other side in 10, eight, seven, six, squeeze five, shoulders up, four, Three, switch it, two, and one. Take it over. Just shift those hips and knees. Everything else, crunch up, down, lift, crunch right here, squeeze, release. Woo -wee. Almost there, almost there. Where are we going, you guys? Flipping it back over to that forearm plank. We have a little turbo round here. Everything we just did, a little bit shorter time in each of them. In five, four, forearm plank, three, two, one. Take it over, hold that forearm plank. On the elbows, on the toes, hold. We take it up to those dolphins. In five, four, dolphins, three, two, one. Lift, lower. 10 seconds, we're gonna go to those open up planks. We got eight. We got six, five, open up side to side in three, two, one. Right here, open side. Back through center, open side. Good, stay with it right here. 12 seconds, 10. We go to our back, we've got those crunches. In seven, six, five, on your back. Crunches in three, two, and one. Here we go, flip it all the way over. 
Heels stay down, elbows wide, crunch. Ah, crunch. Bringing those knees up in tabletop in five, four. Knees up tabletop, three, two, and one. We're right here for 10. One leg extends out, doesn't matter which one, in eight. In five, four, three, two, one. One leg extends out, doesn't matter which. 10, eight, five, four, the burn. Three, two, one. Bring it in, switch, other leg extends. No gapping in that back. 10, bicycle pedal crunches in seven, in five, Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Oh yeah, give myself a little break there. <laughs> right here. Bicycles, bicycles, 15. All we have left, y'all, those oblique crunches. Knees and hips over to the right. In seven. In five. Four. Three. Two. One. Knees and hips over. Elbows stay wide. Crunch it up. Woo! All we're doing is taking it over to the other side and we are done with core. In five, four, crunch it up, other side. In three, two, one, take it over. Right here, y'all, right here, final bit of core. Squeeze through that right oblique, lift. Eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, core is done. <laughs> but we are not done. We have a yoga flow to finish off. So come on up. Oh, crazy hair after those crunches. Yes. Okay. Oh, I have the windows open, the window open in this room, and it just got very dark and cloudy all of a sudden. I just told the boys that when I was done, we could swim, but... I'm not sure it's going to be swimming weather today. Okay. Oh, you guys, one more round. That's it, and we're done with Friday. Here's what we got. We're going to start in that yoga flow series. Now, a lot of times when we start in yoga flow, we're at the back of our mat. But today, we're going to be at the front of our mat, okay? It's going to start with that sun salutation, and I'm going to lead you through this. So, there's no time like the present. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Feet are together underneath those hips. Take a big bend of those knees. Reach up, sun salutation toward the sky. Now take it into a half fold, just halfway down. Now I realize I'm not fully in frame here, but I want to make sure that you'll be able to see the rest of my mat when we do take this down. So hang with me for a bit. We're going to take those fingertips down to the floor and into that full forward fold. Once you're there, tuck the chin. Think about bringing your forehead as close to your knees as you can. And then give yourself that pedal. One, two, one. Two, we're gonna take this back up through that sun salutation one more time in three, two, one. Sun salutation up, but this time all the way down. Take it all the way to that forward fold a little bit faster this time. Now step those feet back, one, two, you're in plank. Okay, we have that chaturanga, it's like a push up. You're lowering down slowly in three, two, and one. As you lower, try not to drop the chest all the way, just hover. Now take it into up dog. You can untuck those toes here in that up dog hold. We're gonna roll those toes under and take it to down dog in three, two, and one. Toes roll under and up to that down dog. Good, just hold, just hold. You're gonna take your left leg, lift it up so your left toes pointed to the ceiling. This is that down dog candlestick. Now three times we're gonna pull that knee in. The first time is to the left elbow. In three, down to plank, knee pull two, and one, pull it out wide to that left elbow. Now come back up, pull it straight down center between the elbows, right to the chest, right back up to candlestick, and this time across to the right elbow. Back up, hold, back up, hold. Open, open, bend the knee and look for it behind that right shoulder, right toward that right bogey. Hold there. We got eight. Seven, try to lift that knee a little higher. Open up through those hips, five. Left foot comes down and sets out wide in three, two, and one. Bring it down, left side, lunge. There we go. Both hands stay down, holding that lunge. 
Now we're gonna open up that left arm, open the chest toward the knee, and from here, take it to thread the needle. Reach in front of the knee, behind the right elbow. Open up again for thread the needle, reach. Down and under, behind that right elbow. Now one more time, hold it open, hold it open. Five, four, that left hand comes down. Three, two, and one. It's gonna come down outside the left foot this time. Now I want you to take that right heel, turn it down, and we're gonna windmill open to that warrior two. Ah, this should feel really good. Sink into those hips, reach those fingertips out, and then take your vision right over that front fingertip, left fingertips. Now we're gonna take it down into triangle, opening the chest, right arm reaches up, right fingertips toward the ceiling or sky, holding here for eight, in five, we're gonna take it back down to lunge. This right arm comes down to meet the left in three, two, and one. Yes, okay, so we're back in lunge. I want you to scoot that left foot out wide. Both hands are down. Now, this right foot is gonna step out wide. So we'll be in squat three, two, and one. Push up, right foot steps wide. Now slowly, slowly lift the chest, hold. We're gonna lift up on a six count. Let me check the hair. We're gonna lift up in three, Two and one, up for six, five, shaky, shaky, four, three, right toe's gonna tap back, curtsy, two, and one, right toe, tap back, curtsy, tap wide, tap, curtsy, tap wide, you've got eight, seven, six, five, four, feet set together at the front of your mat in three, two, one, feet set together, here we go, sun salutation, you're gonna take this into that half Fold flat back, take it down, chest forward, hips back. Take those fingertips all the way down, hold, tuck the chin, forehead to knees. We're gonna reach it up, sun salutation, three, two, and one. This one goes a little bit faster, reach up, take it all the way down. Hold, hold. You can pedal here if you'd like to. We're gonna step back to plank in three, two, one. Step back to plank, car, I'm so close to being done, baby, I'm so close. Step back to that plank. You're gonna hold here for five, four. We're gonna try to rub it down in three, two, one. Try to rub it down. Lift the chest, up dog. You can untuck the toes. Holding up dog, chest forward, hips down. Now we go to down dog. Untuck those toes, roll under, down dog. It's time for that right leg to lift in three, two, one. Right leg lifts, hold. Now we go. Right knee, right elbow. We got three of them. Elbow, center, across. Starting three, two, one. Right knee, right elbow. Lift it back up. Right knee come to center. Lift it back up. Now right knee comes across to the left elbow. Lift it back up. Open up, candlestick, bend that right knee. Look for it behind the left hip and hold for eight, seven, six, five. Right foot. Steps wide of that right hand. In three, two, one. Step wider and lunge, hold. Woo wee! Here we go, thread the needle, open that chest. Reach in and under that left elbow. Two more times, open the chest. Reach under. One more time, open and hold. We've got five, four. Right hand comes outside the right foot in three, Two and one, bring it outside the right foot, kind of square up. Get ready to take that left heel, bring it down. Windmill open into your warrior two. Holding, holding, whoop, almost lost my balance there. Knee tracking forward, fingertips reaching out. We're gonna take this to that cartwheel down in three, two, and one. Swing that left hand around, hold here, back to lunge. Ooh, you guys, that right hand is outside of the right foot. We're gonna step wide with that left foot for that low squat in three, two, one. Ah, step wide, lift the chest. Let me scoot over a little bit, scoot over, here we go. Up on that six count in three, two, one. Up for six, five, four. Get rid of the curtsy, left toe taps back. Two, one, we got curtsy back, tap, back, tap, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Big send your salutation all the way up, all the way down. Fold, fold, fold. One more time. Send salutation up. 
Grab all that good energy at the top, bring it down and in. We are done. You guys, what a workout. That was awesome. That yoga flow, not too much of a cool down, but it is an awesome way to end our time together. I wish you could see my little guy over here. He snuck in, he's got my dumbbells and he's doing bicep curls over here. He's being silly. <laughs> He got me a little thrown off. I realized in that second yoga flow when we're on the right leg, I didn't take us down to triangle. So my apologies for being slightly distracted over here and missing that triangle after our warrior two. If you feel like you missed it, go ahead and get into that triangle right now. <laughs> you guys, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I just love like, mixing a whole bunch of things together and kind of ending on that really good note after some tough workouts during the week. So Friday is always one of my favorite days. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you again here on Monday. Monday, I will have recorded the video beforehand. I'm either gonna record it on Friday or Saturday because we're taking these kiddos to camp on Monday morning. So. Both my boys are having their first overnight camp. We are all very excited for this experience. So I don't have my kids to worry about next week when I'm filming these videos or getting to wherever I need to be. So again, I hope y'all have a great weekend. It has been so fun doing this workout and all of the 23 others before it with you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see y'all next week.